so-called Soviet made in USSR vintage AM transistor pocket radio. This is, I believe this is probably the original. In this video we'll be taking a look at a few different Soviet pocket radios and the problems with them, just diagnosing them for repair and usually it's just capacitors, but I've recently started collecting these uh, vintage USSR made radios and they really perform extremely well. This is a medium wave which is AM broadcast band and long wave. We don't have anything on long wave in the US. I don't think we ever did. We did have uh, aircraft navigation beacons that would just type out in code the uh, call letters of the airport if I got that correct correct me if I'm wrong but those as those have gone offline they have not been replaced of course because aircraft now uses GPS like everything else just for reference uh, I've never seen a bad transistor, a bad Russian germanium transistor. I've seen lots of bad volume controls, bad solder traces, bad capacitors, bad electrolytic capacitors. Never had to align one of these radios because of the type of capacitors they use across the IF transformers. They did not put capacitors in the IF transformers. They're all tubular ceramics external. Well. I thought I just heard it working. Also bad speakers. It seems like every single one of these has a bad speaker. And there's some weird metric size that I have a hard time getting. Today, here's the number. Have your iPhones ready. Make sure you reach out, introduce yourselves, and register for the 2.2 Sunday morning. Be born to the Blessed Mother. In the final, all the pieces are coming together. St. Gabriel is just one. So it sounds almost like the speaker stuck. I can't tell if that speaker is in the, uh, that distortion is in the audio stage or what. 1965, so this is one of the original old school ones. And here are your tubular ceramic capacitors. And I guess those down there, those would be what, polyester or some type of film capacitor. They don't drift. Never aligned one of these. These black things are your transistors. MP40, MP41. P40. Where's the oscillator at? Converter, that's probably this one. P40, P422. External antenna jack. You're looking for a sensitive pocket radio, this is it. This will smoke your Panasonic or your Sony. So these are the electrolytics right here. There's two here. Let's just jump them and see if anything changes and then we can hook up a external speaker and see if the speaker is rubbing. These, these radios, unlike 
radios in the U.S., these radios were used to death. They were generally worn out. There was no reason to keep replacing everything with the hottest thing every year. Okay. Non-polarized, who cares? Okay, we'll do KNX simply because it's no copyright, nothing. This is a big electrolytic right here, but this uses transformers to couple the audio, so I'm not worried about an audio coupling cap. Okay, here we go. Turn it down right at the minimum so you can hear the difference. Uh, Mike's com camera compression will. Nothing. No improvement. No improvement. Interesting. Okay. No improvement. Again, no improvement. There's one more down at the bottom, but let's do these. You ain't gonna afford no gas for that big SUV with this new administration. Take a picture of your gas receipt. You give up your privacy for a few extra cents. Huh. Wow, this transformer is burning hot. And just the time we were running that, it slurped this brand new battery down to 8.2 volts. Crap. I guess that's a lesson. Always check the current draw on your rating radios because that transformer is burning hot. And no wonder why it sounds labored and weak. These are 3.3 volts per cell. I'm on 6 volts. Look at this. We should probably have a maximum of 5 milliamps on this thing with the volume down. Let's go to 9 volts. 
Oh boy. Let's try three volts. So, what do we got? A shorted audio output transistor here. Just running current through the transformer. So what we've got here, we've got a center tap transformer. The center would be power. Then this side goes to a capacitor. The, the little orange square things that is between collector and base or emitter and base. I don't know if they got the emitter grounded or the collector grounded. This here is the ground bus. This right on the edge of the board. So you can see one lead of the transistors connected to the ground bus. The other is connected to each side of the um, transformer. I was going to get some thermal imaging data a picture of this. Let me do that. Okay, let's do a uh, voltage measurement here. I'm going to measure from ground to want to the center. 5.82 volts to one side. Four, 5 volts to the other side. 0.4, negative 0.4. How is that even possible? How is it possible to have a negative voltage there? So one transistor is drawing a hell, of, this one here is drawing a hell of a lot of current. So crap, do we have a shorted transistor here? That will be a first. A, a bad Russian germanium, that would be a first. Let's take a look at the resistance here. So from ground to what looks like the good transistor is 68 ohms. What would be uh, B plus is 34 ohms. And what would be the shorted transistor is 3.1 ohms. So, did I stick my foot in my mouth at the beginning of this video? Because this will seriously be the first shorted Russian germanium transistor I've seen. And am I going to have to hack this thing up and have... Because all these transistors are black. If I have to introduce a white transistor or a silver transistor into this, the, the infighting and the rejection is just, it's never going to be the same. Two of the leads from the transistor I suspect is bad are extracted. So here we go. We'll start with 3.3 uh, volts. Hardly any draw. We'll go to 6.6 .6 volts. Wow, a shorted Russian germanium transistor. Let me get it out. This is an MP40 made by whatever company that is. Two of 65. I, I just, I like to keep things like this all original. I realize sometimes it's not possible. And I do have, I'm sure I have MP40, but they're going to be white. This box 
is my germanium transistor collection. I have lots of germanium transistors. Lots of them. Because I love working on old radios. And yes, I do have quite a stock of... Let's see what we got here. MP... And they always say, you know, use a matched pair. Well, it's a lo-fi AM radio. Okay, these are just straight P40. And I don't know what the difference is. MP13B. Okay, well, unfortunately, I do not have an MP40. And I don't know why. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a P20. And then I might need to order MP40. Uh, I would like to fix this right. I don't know why. It's just another stupid pocket radio but it's cool because it look at how clean and unmolested this thing is I would really like to fix this right so let's tack one of these in and just see how the sound quality improves and I'm going to assume Okay, see if you can hear a difference when I touch the new transistor in there. Listen. Volume controls worn out. All the activity along the right shoulder. This shouldn't affect your drive much unless uh, there's some looky loo uh, events going on. For road repair. Look of a small brush. With pain and. Sagara의 노래 혹은 사가라의 예언이라고 하는 부분이 담겨져 있습니다. ご視聴ありがとうございました<音楽><音楽><音楽><音楽> Here's what L.A. Oldies was. Most of clear overnight lows in the upper 40. Very important. Uh, I think that we... Provide you education. Value of... So I guess there's a lesson here, which is always check the current draw on a transistor radio. You're yeah, I ruined a brand new nine volt battery. But anyway, it was an interesting diagnostic lesson. I'll um, 
I'll order some of these. I have some good contacts in the Russian Federation that can get me just about anything for these old radios. And unlike uh, the stuff we deal with from America and Japan, I can get original equipment Russian transistors for these radios. Not aftermarket NTE, but actual OE stuff and keep them original. 1965 SoCal uh, radio with a shorted transistor. And the symptom at the beginning was it sounded really weak and distorted as it took the battery down in short order. Uh, Tom, your fellow Brit, your fellow Brit who recently passed away, who I just, I thought the world of this guy's intellect, Sir Roger Scruton. Confirmed with the recent surge in COVID cases, plus LA County lifting a temporary ban on indoor worship services. That's coming up right now. It's 12 o'clock. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Merrill Edge Self-Directed. Hi, Lisa Mateo. It was a long night for lawmakers. About 